What are you doing in there? Hey, Margaret. Karen? Bert? You guys should give me the cold shoulder. I feed you guys. Hey, come on. Can't you talk to me? Come on. Come on. We... Hold on, boy. I gotta talk to these folks. Having a pet's a big responsibility, isn't it? Remember when you asked for a pet the first time? Hey, Mom, can we get a dog? Oh, no. They shed. Oh. Hey, can we get a cat? No, they licked the butter. Well, I suppose you end up with goldfish. That's right. I don't know what's worse, goldfish or a dog. At least you don't have to walk to goldfish. Hey, enjoy the show! My elementary school was a chamber of horrors. Inside, they tried to bore you to death, and outside was even worse. I hated recess. Our playground was terrifying. It was a breeding ground for psychopaths and terrorists. You could always tell the bullies at our school, because they all had two first names. There was Craig Eric. There was Paul George. And worst of all... Well, if it isn't little Lulu. Well, if it isn't Big Glen Glen. Mm. Did I give you permission to say my name? I don't think so. Got a headlock on you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, nothing. You got me in a headlock. That's right. Teach you to say my name without permission. And by now, you're probably wondering why I even went out at recess. Well, that I can answer two words. I'm down. Jeannie Harper. I said, put him down. Why should I? Because if you don't, I'll kiss you on the lips and give you cooties! Yuck. See you tomorrow, Lulu. Hey, and she was, by far, the most beautiful fifth grader in the world. Of course, I could never tell her any of that. Thanks. I was just about to show him the Anderson Scissors kick. Dad learned it in the war. I know. I wanted to save you the trouble, that's all. Besides, you can use the scissors kick next week when I'm not around. Well, what do you mean? Well, my dad got another job. We're moving. And right there, my world crumbled. Jeannie Harper was moving. My buddy, my best friend, my bodyguard. Let's go. I'll race ya. I missed her already. On TV, Dad's always knew just the right thing to say. Maybe that's what I needed. A little fatherly advice. Oh, yeah. Now that's a tool, huh? You can't even buy these things anymore. Hey, Dad. Ah! What are you doing? You don't sneak up on a veteran. What's the matter with you, anyway? Jeannie Harper's moving. Oh, Jeannie. She's moving to Detroit. Well, that's a big state. It'd make a lot of cars over there. <laughs> well, why would you want to move there anyway? Her dad got a dumb new job. Suddenly, Dad's eyes lit up. This was it. Dad was going to give me advice, just like on TV. Louie, here's what you got to do. Uh, now listen to me here. Yeah, find out if old man Harper's parking spot at the plant is spoken for. Uh, mine's way back, uh, you know, the lot. And if I could get his spot, I wouldn't have to walk so far in the morning. I mean, I marched all through the war, so I don't mind that. It's just that I could sleep in, you know? Give me another ten winks. Thanks, Dad. I knew I could count on you. Well, there was always Mom. So, Jeannie's moving away. Mm-hmm. Well, I know you can't replace a friend like that. But maybe we can find a new friend. Well, where? And friends are us? Louie. What does he need a pet for? For crying out loud, we gave him a little brother. Can we get this cat? Please, Mom, please. Oh, this is the greatest cat ever. Oh, come on, Mom, please. Oh, no. Cats lick the butter. What? Oh, yeah. They jump on the counter. They lick the butter. You eat that butter. <coughs> oh, sure. Everyone knows that, yeah. What are you trying to do, kill us? Butter licker. Can we get this dog, please, Mom, please? It protect us everything. I'll never ask for anything again. Oh, I'll call Lucky. Oh, please, Mom, let me get this dog. Oh, no. They shed. So? Dad sheds? Ah! They lose their hair. It gets caught in all the drains. Your house fills up with water, and you... 
Of course, Mom had her own ideas about what made an appropriate pet. Well, if we can't get a dog or a cat, well, well what can we get? Get a goldfish. That's uh, a stupid pet. Uh, when I was a kid, fish were the only pets invented. Have a tick now and then that would get behind your neck and blow up like a balloon. Anyway, we didn't have pet stores, and we had to scoop them out of the lake. Yeah, I learned a lot of responsibility from that little scaly. Uh, scaly? It's not a name for a fish. That's a fine name for a fish. <laughs> now take care of that fish, understand, Louie? First time he becomes a problem, he becomes dinner. <laughs> I'm sure he'll grow on you. What are you gonna name him? Pepper. What's wrong with Skeely the second? Pepper! Why don't you and Pepper run along, get to know each other? Yeah, right. What am I supposed to do? Put a leash on him, drag him down the sidewalk? Louie. Don't tell me that fish is becoming a problem already. It was really nice of you to come over and say goodbye and stuff. I had to take my fish for a walk, so it was in the neighborhood anyway. Here it was, my Hello. one chance to tell Jeannie how I felt about her. Jeannie? Yeah? I just wanted to say... What is it, Louie? Is your dad's parking space at the plants bugging for yet? Oh, what a stupid thing to say. Oh, I'm a loser. Be right there, Dad. Here's my new address. Maybe you could write me sometime? Bye, Louie. Bye. In a flash, it was over. Jeannie was gone, and now she'd never know how I felt about her. Hey! Loser! Aw, oh, look at this. Little Louise got a little fishy. What do you think, Scar? Make a pretty good appetizer, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. That'd really fill him up. Did you say something to me? Not so tight around the neck this time. I'm starting to change. Your little bodyguard's gone. Who's gonna protect you now, lunatic? Glenn, Glenn, you leave that poor little fat kid alone and get in here for dinner. Now, mister. Gotta go. See you tomorrow, Lulu. Twice. Come on, Scar. Let's go. <laughs> hey, crazy kid. Hey, you could have done in my fender. Irresponsible youth of today. Hey, Louie, wake up. Get in the car. The bad news is your grandmother's come to visit. Grandma? Well, what's the good news? There is no good news. You remember your grandmother, don't you? She's a real peach. Of course, she doesn't care much for a moi. Hates me. Did I ever tell you that? Like your mother would have met a president of the United States. <laughs> she blames me for not being able to go visit her daughter in the White House. Yeah. Other than that, she's a lovely creature. And once you get past the scaly skin, yellow teeth and the breath that could kill a dinosaur, hey, uh, that explains their extinction, uh, if you think about it. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, finally. Thanks for the lift, Dad. All right, fall in there. Let's get going here. What are you doing? Why aren't you coming in? No way. Breath like a dinosaur? Can't be worse than Dad's. I heard that. Get in here. If this wasn't the worst day of my life, it was definitely in the top five. Oh, Louie, we moved you into Tommy's room. Tommy's room? Well, where'd you put him? He's in there with you. You get to share. See, we need your room for Grandma. Now, why don't you pop in and say goodnight to her? The problem was, my parents put her in my room, which meant to get anywhere in the house, it had to go past Grandma's door. I'm going for it. Louie! Tell Mom and Dad I'm going in. Come say hello to your grandmother. Come give your grandmother a kiss. Dad was right. Yellow teeth. Get down here for dinner. Now! Yes. Say by the yell. Yeah, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Reminds me of the time I cooked for the troops. Yeah, put dirt in there sometimes. The filler. <laughs> Whenever Grandma was over, Dad would cook. Eventually, I figured out Dad's strategy. 
He was trying to speed up her departure. Come on, Louie. Come sit by me. Come over. That's my seat. You're not the boss of me. I'm the boss of both of you. Now sit down. Here you go. Oh, there's plenty for all. <gasps> Eat up now before it gets cold. Oh, Andy, let's enjoy each other's company. We don't need to be. Yeah, just a little dinner theater. What's on here? Oh. oh, here we go. That's more like it. I love this one. The Duke. Uh, loud enough for you, Grandma. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect, Andy. Dad, this macaroni's old. Louie looks good to me. But it's green and moldy. What are you talking about? Not spinach macaroni. When I was in the war, all the food was green. Green macaroni, green potatoes, green lettuce. Lettuce is green, Dad. Oh, sure, now it is. He started that. <laughs> Look at that. Teach him to try and stop a bayonet with his forehead. <laughs> oh, Andy. Seconds, anyone? <laughs> yes, please, Andy. Drive me nuts. Eat up, boys. Your father bought cheesecake for dessert. No one touches that. I'm saving that for a special occasion, the day you all move out. Andy, I almost forgot to tell you. I was out in the garage today, and I reorganized all your tools for you. What? <laughs> Hung them all in alphabetical order. What? Now, don't thank me. <laughs> Look, Dan's going to get Grandma. Andy. Oh, this is good. Louie, Tommy, go to your room, now. Jeez, what'd we do? Now! Can I feed Pepper? No, you don't know how. You'll break them. Here you go, buddy. Open up. Of course, I didn't know how either. I never had a goldfish before. I didn't know how much they ate. This thing started getting big. Started waking me up in the morning. Hey, Lou, get up. Huh? What? Tommy, quiet! Trying to sleep here. I'll share a room with you. Over here. Huh. I'm hungry, Lou. Uh, give me a jelly donut, would you, Lou? I'm wasting away here, Lou. I'm gonna saute you, then I'm gonna eat you. What's going on here? Dad's gonna eat Pepper! Dad's gonna I'm eat gonna Pepper! I'm gonna of these kids in my cheesecake! And I don't these kids. That fish is your responsibility. We expect you to take care of it. We ran out of fish food. He's starving. I have no time to take you to the pet store. But I bet if you ask nicely, your grandma will take you. <sighs> Louie, is that you? Oh, sorry, Pepper. <sighs> what you writing, Louie? Nothing. Poor little Lucille. You miss your little girlfriend? Louie and Jeannie sitting in a tree. K-I-S. K-I-S. Q you want a dictionary? That's gonna cost you, Luki. What are you doing? Take your hands off my grandson. I'm sorry, ma'am. We were just talking. Don't think I don't know a headlock when I see one. Now you run along. Yes, ma'am. Grandma, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd stop by on my way home from the pet store. You bought food for Pepper? Well, he looks hungry. Did you write this? Uh, it's just, uh, Practicing the alphabet. J-H. That wouldn't be Jeannie Harper, would it? <laughs> Grandma, how'd you know that? Well, your mom sent me pictures of you and your friends at summer camp. She's a cute one. You two look pretty close. We were, and she left me. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you write her a letter? I don't know what to write. Oh, I think you do. Well... What if she laughs? What if she doesn't? I finally saw Grandma for what she really was. Not some yellow-toothed creature from the Grandmother Lagoon. She was part of the family. 
take some advice from an old lady. It's never too late to tell someone how you feel about them. Hey, guys. Stop, stop it. Cut it out. Hey, that hey Glenn, Glenn. Stop it. Guess what? I think you're a jerk. <laughs> hey. Well, now, that's not exactly what I meant, Louie. <laughs> Come on, let's see what delicacy your father's whipped up for dinner. Things couldn't be better. And then... <laughs> Pepper! That's an excellent idea. Yeah, don't! Oh, no. <laughs> that was my best friend. I can't believe that you That was my Pepper. dinner. I'll never forgive you. I not as long as I I'm live. Like trying to catch that fish. You caught that fish? That's right. With these two hands. The same two hands I want to use to... Andy! What? Pepper! He just threw my dinner out the window. I was giving him a bath. A bath? He's a fish. Well, now he's a clean fish. Good, because now we can have him for dinner. Andy! No one's going to eat Pepper. I'll tell you that. Now, uh, what are we supposed to have? Macaroni again? Uh, I feel like I'm in the war. Wasn't the same food over 360 days a year. Macaroni, macaroni! Uh, uh. Well, it's time for me to be on my way. Oh, Mom, are you sure? You're leaving? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Why? I don't want to overstay my welcome. <laughs> too late for that. Can I help you, Pat? Oh, Andy, you're such a dear son-in-law. I couldn't believe it. Just when I was starting to like Grandma, she had to leave. Bye, Grandma. I'll miss you a lot. I'm gonna miss you too, sweetheart. Uh, give Grandma a big hug. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, garlic. Goodbye. Now you take good care of Pepper. Bye-bye. Safe home. Bye-bye. Wow, that's a shame. Huh. I was starting to like having the old buzzard around. Huh. She didn't even smell like mothballs this time. You know, Louie, sometimes it's good when people leave. How's that, Dad? Huh? I don't know. I'm just trying to help you out here. Cut me some slack, will ya? Hey, who wants dinner? It's Grandma! What'd you forget? Her teeth. Hi, Louie. Jenny, you're back. Yeah, my dad's job didn't work out, so he's back to the old one. Oh, hello, Jenny. Welcome back. Oh, Mr. Anderson, before I forget, my dad said to tell you he wants his parking space back. What? Ah, oh, great. My old spot's already filled. I have to park even further away. I might as well just walk to work. Uh, means I gotta get up earlier. You have to work on time. I gotta go to bed now. So, Jeannie, did you uh, uh, get my letter? No. You wrote me, Louie? What'd you write? Nothing. Louie? I just wrote that I missed you and liked having you around. Oh. You mean this letter? But I thought you... I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> I missed you too, Louie. Wow! Is that your fish? He really got big. What do you feed him? Chicken, donuts, cheesecake. I'm serious. It's like a garbage disposal. You should get one. Mm, I can't. We just got a cat. Don't you know about cats? No. They lick the butter. Everyone knows that. They jump on the counter, lick the butter, you eat it, and... I realized that when it came to advice giving, all those TV families had nothing on the Andersons. Yeah, the roads are really... After all, Mom was right. Pepper did grow on me. And Dad was right. Sometimes it is good when people leave. If Jeannie hadn't left in the first place, I never would have written her that letter. And finally, Grandma was right. It's never too late to let someone know how you feel about him. Hey, do you like the show? Hey, do you want to meet my dog? No. Come on, killer. Yeah. Hey, say hello to these folks. Hey, tell them, Les, he's nothing compared to you. Don't look at those goldfish like you're hungry. 
That's not a good idea. Oh, you're licking me. You can't lick without permission. 